season makeup looks. I decided to go for something a little bit different for my channel and really fun to kick things off. Um, this video I have teamed up with Beauty Bay because they have also created four party Christmas looks over on their blog edited over on beautybay.com. I will leave that in the description part down below for you because the four looks they've come up with are totally different and they're all awesome. So go check that out. But I decided to do my interpretation of the glitter lip and this is what I've come up with. I absolutely love it. So if you want to see how to get the look, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so starting off with my bare face, I have already prepped my skin and primed it and now moving on to foundation, I'm taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation, which is my current, as you guys know if you've been on my channel for a bit, this is definitely my favourite foundation of the moment. I am in the shade Golden. And now moving on to concealer, I'm taking also a current fave, my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is a concealer in the shade SX04. And I just use my ring finger to warm it up first of all, and then I apply this underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. A lot of you guys have actually messaged me asking where you get this from, and you can actually get it on Beauty Bay. Uh, Beauty Bay has got like loads of stuff. It's probably one of the best shops, especially for us UK girls. They have a lot of American brands on there and just a lot of products in general, which is really good. So yeah, you can get this on there. I will leave the link in the description bar. Moving on to setting that, I'm taking my Anastasia really beaten up contour kit. I used to use this religiously and then I just kept branching out to other ones. But as you can see, this is definitely a well-loved palette. <laughs> I'm taking the banana shade and I'm just using this to set everywhere we've applied that concealer. So underneath the eyes, the eyelids, the chin, and a bit on the forehead and the nose area. Um, and then before I powder any further, I'm going to be taking the Illamasqua Cream Highlighter. This is in the shade Aurora. And I'm just using my finger to just pat this over the highlighting areas. Um, I'm really into that really intense glowing look at the moment. So using a cream highlighter first is really going to give us that. I also, as you saw, applied it on my eyelid because I wanted my eyelids to have a really nice sheen to them. To set that highlighter, I'm going in with also by Illamasqua. This is the OMG Beyond Powder. This combination, oh, look at this combination of highlights, seriously. This is my favorite kind of highlight where it just looks like a natural glow to your skin. It's nothing, it's not like a crazy fake looking highlight almost. It's just like really glowy and natural. Going back into that Anastasia powder palette, I am taking Havana, which is the warmest of the bronze shades in it to contour. Not really contour, just to really warm up the face and just a slight contour, you know, but I'm using a large brush as you can see so it's not going to give you like a really sharp contour but you know that's the kind of look that I like to wear I think it just looks a bit nicer when it's just nice and natural but still fierce you know <laughs> so once I've done that I'm moving on to blusher I'm taking the Milani uh, Berry Amora blush which again is a current fave of mine and I'm just using the same brush just to apply that to my cheeks and then just working out to the forehead just so everything meshes well together and then I'm going back into that palette and I am using the middle shade, which is a slightly greyer toned. And I'm using this just to define my eyes slightly. I didn't want much to go on my eyes. As you can see, the way we've done that highlighter on the eyes has given them a really nice glow and a really nice sheen to them, which I think is so pretty. So I did that and then I'm just using my MAC 217 just to define the eyes a little bit, you know. As you can see, it's nothing crazy, but it's just going to help define them in that outer corner of the eye, which when we apply the line later it just kind of brings the look all together so I definitely would do this step and just use whichever bronzer you've used for your face if you prefer I just went with a slightly grayer toned one just so it made it look more like a shadow in my crease I then just took a fluffier brush just to blend all that out just to make sure there was no harsh lines as I did want this to be pretty soft I wanted the whole makeup look to be fairly soft because obviously the lips is going to be the main focus of this this tutorial you know like the whole look is really about the lips so once I've done that, I will be moving on to eyebrows, which I'm taking the Anastasia 
Duo Brow Powder. This is in the shade Ash Brown on the Anastasia number no. 12 brush. Uh, again, another product that I've only picked this up recently because I lost my old one. Um, but a lot of you guys have been asking where you get Anastasia from in the UK and again Beauty Bay is one of the places that you can get Anastasia from. They don't have the full selection, like you can't get the shadows and the lipsticks, but they have all the brow products, they have all the contour products, um, so it really is amazing to get everything we want from there. Because I remember when there was a time we couldn't get anything to the UK by Anastasia and it was so annoying. Um, so yeah, I'm just filling my eyebrows in as I normally do. I'm just loving powder at the moment and I'm also setting them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Did you know this is the first time I've like got this product? I've never ever tried it. I've always seen people rave about it but I've never tried it and it is definitely as good as they say. I really, really like it. And it's obviously new, I've only used it like twice but I really like it so far. Next I'm taking my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and I'm just using this to create a small wing. I didn't want this to be too dramatic. Like, I want it to be fairly thin, but you guys know what it's like. You start with a thin one and then it just grows into a big wing. But no, I did keep it pretty thin and only in the outer half of my eye. So I didn't want the whole wing to come into the inner corner of my eye. I wanted it just to be on the outer corner. So as you guys know, that I love that kind of elongated eye look, kind of like a Andrea Jolie-esque, you know, that kind of look she does where she has just eyeliner on the out outer corner. Um, so that's what I did. I just applied the wing to the outer half of the eye. Applying lashes. These are brand spanking new. These are by the Little Lash Company and they are so beautiful. I'll leave them down below. It's just like an independent girl. Um, beautiful lashes. Once I've applied those, I did tight line with just a black coal liner. This looks so weird when I do this, right? How weird does that look? Whoa. <laughs> you do want a tight line though, because otherwise you'll have like a skin gap. So definitely do that. And then I applied a nude liner to the waterline and then went back into my 217 and what was ever left on the brush, I just brushed that underneath the eye and then applied some mascara just to make sure the full C's blend to your natural lashes and also on the lower lash line as well. Then I went ahead and highlighted the inner corner of my eye with that same OMG powder by Illamasqua. Um, I just highlighted that and then also my brow bone. I just really wanted your eyes to look quite like fresh and awake and glowy and clean, you know? Because I think when you're going with something a little bit more cray for the lips, you want everything else to be very fresh and glowy and clean. So now moving on to the start of the show and onto the lips. Clearly, I'm excited to start these. First of all, I'm taking this Cargo HD. This is like a lip primer. I've never used a lip primer, but wow, like lip primer is really good. It basically just like smoothed out all my lips, like like a primer would. Like it just, I don't know if you can tell on camera, it like smoothed them out and it just looked like amazing. And then I'm going in with the Illamasqua Lip Liner. This is in the shade Severity. I don't know if that's how you say it. You can see the name here. Um, this is actually the first Illamasqua lip liner I've ever tried, and they're really, really nice. I wouldn't say it's as creamy as a Kylie Cosmetics one, and it's not as drying as a MAC one. It's like kind of in between, which is actually kind of perfect, you know? So I just use this to line my lips, but I kind of lined them with a soft edge, if that makes sense. So I lined them, and then I also went ahead and filled in like the corners of the top and bottom just because then when you put the lipstick on, it's gonna last longer, but also give you a slight um, gradient effect if the lipstick is a different color. In which case, in this case, it isn't a particularly different color. I went for the Gerald Cosmetics lipstick. This is in the shade Merlot, which is like a beautiful deep red shade, as you can see here. Um, it is also a matte shade and it is beautiful. I've got so many of the Gerald Cosmetics lipsticks. They are bomb. Um, so I just, and I love the packaging as well. Like it looks like a little bullet, right? Anyway, I just used this to pat over the areas I left out and obviously just fill them in and then this is the lip colour before glitter. Next I'm taking this Natasha Denona lip glaze. Oh my god. I've wanted to try Natasha Denona products for so long and I didn't even know Beauty Base sold them until now and I'm so excited to get some more products from her. Um, so this is like a basically like a clear lip gloss but it's super super sticky like a proper glaze you know like super shiny. So I applied that just on the area that I wanted the glitter to be the most intense, which for me, I decided to go for the Cupid's Bow. And as you can see, I'm patting it on rather than brushing it on because you don't really want the colour of the lipstick to lift up with the gloss. So I'm just patting on the gloss or the glaze where I want that glitter to be. 
um, which is just in the center of my lips basically. And then I'm taking this Violet Voss Glitter. Um, this is in the shade Copperella. And I'm just, oh look at it, oh my goodness. Can we just, I need to do an eye makeup look using this glitter. How insane is this glitter? Oh my God, I love it so much. So it is a loose glitter. And I basically just took a small, this is actually a small like eyeliner brush. Oh my God, look at it. And I just packed it over where the glaze was. But don't worry about only getting the glaze area because obviously the glaze, the glitter is going to stick to the glaze more than it's going to stick to the other areas. So just pack it on pretty much all in the center of your lips. And it's going to give you that beautiful like, almost like your lips have been frosted, you know, like they've just been frosted with this like sparkly snow glitter. Um, so that's what I did. I just packed that on all over those areas. And then once you've done that, the look will be complete. Okay, so this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you liked it. Don't forget to check out on beautybay.com and go to their blog section. I will leave it in the description bar down below for you so you can watch the other four party looks they came up with, including their version of the glitter lip. I will leave, obviously, every all products I've used, I will leave in the description bar down below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.